run for cover, motherfucker. Here I come, pumps in the bump, make you wanna hurt something. I can take your man, I don't have to sex some. Hey, 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 I'm um, what's happening? Hypnotic in my drink, that's right. Shake your ass till it stink, that's right. Mr. Moe's on the beat, that's right. Put it down for the street, that's right. Okay, I cannot be caught wearing the same outfit three videos in a row because I'm filming Jade and Chloe today, all in one shot. I can't do this anymore. So we have to change. But for the girly that we're reviewing, it's very fitting. If you know, you know. Like, shirt is from Redacted. Hello loves, my name is Aqua Elixir, or at least my Twitter handle is, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Yes, you heard me correctly. It's the final day. It is the final day of Pretty and Punk, at least for now. Because whenever Eaton comes, we're copping him as well. But I'm pretty sure that he's probably just going to get released on the actual day that Pretty and Punk gets released. Or it should be released July 23rd. So he will come eventually. But until then, this is the last video. We got Chloe here. And I saved her for last because she is the girl that I love the most. Oh my god, I was so excited about her the most when it came to Pretty and Punk. Because... She was just a doll that I've always wanted. Like, I remember seeing the Pretty in Punk, I don't say music video, what the fuck? Seeing the Pretty in Punk commercial on TV, even though it was like 2005, I vividly remember that. It is so crazy. Like, I remember seeing like the Chloe doll turning her hair and like her hair flipping. That is like a canon event for me. There's no way of stopping that. Like, I have to see that. So to have the reproduction of that doll is just mind-blowing to me. And she's just so gorgeous. She really is. I love this screening, even though it is obviously a lot different from the original screening. Not that much. I feel like they really did a good job with this face. And I'm just really, really excited to get into her. You know, the usual uh, embossed packaging, poster inside, suitcase with stickers, punk party outfits. Um, get ready to rock it like a rebel looking pretty and punk with the brats of London because we're always gonna party like a motherfucking punk. I know that's right. So let's get into her. I'm so excited. Oh my god. It is like 2 a.m. <laughs> Any other bitches like stay up all night? I want to hear you scream! <sighs> we got Chloe's poster prototype back, artwork front, this one's honestly pretty classic, maybe, usual accessories, I cut off the name tag and just taped it in there, I am obsessed with Chloe's bag, I don't know why I forgot what it looked like, but yeah, this is probably one of my favorites. This bag, Yasmin's bag, Jade's bag, so everybody's bag except for Megan's, to be honest, is really good. Um, but it has a plaid print. The corners have the um, pleather, and then so does the flap. And why am I trying to fit two fingers in here? All right, it's time for our queen. Her hair is really in need of a good wash. It's so crunchy. Here is Chloe. She's fierce. It's coming. Her face. 
Oh my god. She's the mother I've never had. She's the sister I've always wanted. And she's the friend that everybody deserves. Yeah. 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 This is how you do a reproduction screening. Because the original, as I've said in a previous video, is very doe-eyed. They hit the slay button with her. Now this bang though. I don't know what it is. Is it because it's made out of nylon? Like her hair is nylon, so the bang gotta be different. Was the bang always like this? It's so harsh. It's so blunt. She has her orange streaks mixed in with the blonde. It's a lot more distinct than the original. At least I'm just assuming because I don't have the original. But I feel like I've seen the original and the hair is blended a lot better. But again, maybe it's just because it's all gelled and it was in the box and everything. And once you wash it out, it'll be different. Yeah, this is an iconic doll with just the hair alone. But yeah, the screening, I mean, I think that mine is also a little wonk, just like my Jade, which, I mean, it's fine. She's still gorgeous. I think this eye is a lot smaller than this one. The lip is beautiful, that dark lip. The makeup, it's just the right amount of smoky eye. The earrings are just like that plain stud that everybody has. The outfit. I have dreamt about owning this outfit for a long time. And it's pretty well reproduced. It feels really tight in the sleeves. But it's this black long sleeve shirt and the shoulders are cut out. We have kind of like a collar piece with studs on it, and then this piece, it feels like a mesh, it looks mesh too. So yeah, and there's like a red stripe, it says London. And then we have, I wanna say it's probably supposed to mimic a belt, but this leather strap at the top with some studs. And the denim has the Union Jack stripes on it as well. Pans out pretty nicely. And we have the classic Pretty and Punk boot. She's lethal. This face is so lethal. Ugh. I have been itching to unbox her for the longest time. It's been six days since me getting them to now, just so y'all know. At the time of me filming this, it's been six days since I've had her and she's been in her box until today. So the patience that I've had it's never been like this before. <laughs> wow, I'm just now realizing, it's just now settling in. This is the last clip that I need to film and all of my Pretty and Punk content is done. Well, sorta kinda. That's a prank. It was a prank for now. For now, it's almost done. So here is Chloe in her second outfit. Just zoomed into her face and that's just it. Cause the face never declines. The jacket does have some nice detailing on it. So there are like these leather straps on one side and then buckles on the other. And they do close but we're not gonna do that because I have chubby fingers and we'd be here all night. And it's already 2 a.m., so let's not do that. But in box, it does have the buckles and everything latched through, so rewind to the beginning of the video and you'll see it. Okay, now for this dress, I'm not so sure about how the original fits, but I do know that the repros have had a long history of the clothes not fitting that well. So I don't know if this is how it originally fit too or what, but the dress, honestly, now that I look at it, it does, mm. okay, I'm kind of going back and forth because at first it wasn't really fitting that well, but now that I look at it, it kind of looks like it's fitting that well. So let me shut up. It's a fully denim dress. Again, that Union Jack motif with the zipper going down the middle. There are 
these leather straps on the sides of the hip. We got another chain detail with the star. And then it is pleated on the skirt. And then when you open it up, it does have some nice peekaboo plaid detailing. I'm like, open it up some more. I want to see that plaid some more. And that's it. <laughs> it's probably the simplest second outfit. That was really quick. And now it's over. <laughs> well, it's over. Well, actually, it is not over because ever since a couple months back, I actually purchased my first Pretty and Punk doll. And now they get to be a part of the whole group because I actually had them in hiding. I didn't want to have them all out and about on his own because, spoiler alert, it's a dude. I didn't want to have him out all by himself. Because also in my brain, I'm thinking like, if I don't have the dolls yet and just having him by himself, once I get the repros and put him with them, I'm just gonna be tired of him. Like I've already seen him too much. And even though he'll be complete with his line, it's gonna be like, okay, yeah, you know, Ben had you out. So yeah, now it's his time to shine too. Yes, we got Dillard. Cameron. I love him. I really do. I got him, oh god, months ago because he was on Mercari for a really good deal because him and Dylan, people be asking insane, heinous prices on the second market for them. Eaton sometimes, but he's usually fine. You can usually find him for something affordable, but the other two, it's disgusting. It's vile. So when I found him for a pretty decent price with both outfits, I had to snatch him. And I kind of have him in a mixture of his outfits. So the leather jacket, hello OG leather jacket. And then underneath we have his first top, which is kind of similar to um, Jade's top, except I think this is, it is not a short sleeve, I'm dumb. It's a long sleeve. I don't want to take off his jacket. Uh, and it has like the short sleeve and then like the red is the long sleeve Union Jack. I folded up the shirt so it's kind of like a crop top because he just looks so good with that. And his pants, he has this plaid belt, which I think is such a cool detail. And it has some studs on it as you can see. And I'm obsessed with these pants. They have little slits towards the bottom and it says punk in London all around them. These are really cool. The bag is Wintertime Wonderland Jades but I thought that it looked really cool with the outfit and I didn't get his original bag so it fits, it works. He's really really cute and he has that flocked hair. I love the flocked head. The glasses, I don't know if they're his. I don't think that they are. They could be. But obviously we had to save revealing him for Chloe's video, cause- Is your girlfriend boyfriend? Hello, boyfriend, girlfriend. Oh, I love them. I love all of them. Alrighty guys. Wow. My return to YouTube is now the end of an era. Yeah, we reached the end of the Pretty and Punk Girls. We're still waiting on Eaton, but we have other videos to come out, so those are going to be posted probably before he even releases. But thank you guys for coming with me on this journey. I've enjoyed unboxing these dolls with you guys, and stay tuned, because trust me, I'm trying to get my storage back up and running so I can post more content. There's a lot more that I have that I just got to, and that's coming and other reviews and shit like that, just don't wait. But if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment, let me know which of the Pretty and Punk dolls you enjoyed the most, who you're thinking of buying. Did you buy all of them? Were you like me? Were you greedy? Let me know. And subscribe, please. That would help me so much and I would appreciate it. 
and y'all can come on me with this journey. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you in the next one. Peace. Ooh.